Researchers, scientists and investors are crying foul over the blanket ban on genetically modified organisms which has continued to undermine research in the sector. They now want the ban lifted to allow for the use of biotechnology products. So the experiments have gone down and indeed the projects that are potentially capable of going to the next level of environmental release, the developers have basically uh, developed a cold feet. And should the ban be lifted, we'll apply the regulatory framework as we... The water efficient maze for Africa. The level of investment that has gone into this program and where we are now. We are saying, surely, we cannot slow down on benefiting from this kind of investment. Can we afford to resist new technology due to the perceived risks of GM while we are facing real risks with food shortages and aflatoxin contaminated maize? Industrialization Principal Secretary Dr. Wilson Songa told the Forum on Agricultural Biotechnology Investment that the ban on GMOs does not augur well for technological advancement in the country. We must be able to believe in our own science institutions. This ban is augering badly for our investments in this, in this technology. The Busia County Member of Parliament, Florence Mutua, said the ban was inhibiting investment in the cotton industry that once flourished in the western region warning that unless a conducive environment is allowed in which biotechnology can thrive, Kenya risks losing her scientific edge to the regional counterparts. So we need EU to work with the government to help us lift this ban so that we can also be, be part of the countries that import to EU more of these crops like cotton and soybeans. The head of agricultural development at the EU delegation in Kenya, Dominique Davos, said the EU has not issued a blanket ban on GMOs. If Kenya contributes to those importation with authorized product, uh, indeed you will have access to the EU market. And as the ban persists, those pro and those against GMO continue the grandstanding in Kenya while other countries are taking advantage of advancement in science and technology to help resolve inherent challenges to productivity. Judith Akolo, Channel One Weekend.